All right, what's up, fellas? We are currently one day out from Jake Paul versus Tyron Woodley, a match I'm actually looking fairly forward to, honestly. Like, before this week, I honestly could not give a fuck about the fight, but watching all the media scrum and the build up and whatnot, it's actually very fun because Jake Paul is a fucking idiot, but Tyron Woodley is not. Like, people don't give him enough credit. Like, people always talk about how witty people like. Dominic Cruz, Daniel Cormier, Michael Bisping, Conor McGregor, and especially Chael Sonnen are, but Tyron Woodley is extremely, like, he can just come up with quips, and I think he is extremely sharp, and he just makes Jake Paul look like a fucking idiot, and he's actually funny, that's the thing, because there are people like Dominic Cruz who roast people, but he doesn't seem like a funny guy to me. Um, same with like people like Connor and whatnot. Like they're funny, I guess. They roast the shit out of people. They don't seem like someone you would just chill out with, and they just fucking make you laugh, right? But I get that vibe from Tyron. I, I don't know. I, I've always liked Tyron Woodley. I know a lot of people don't back in the day because he would say a lot of dumb and inaccurate shit, and I, I can understand that, I guess. But I can look past that stuff, and I actually like him. Like in the as far as person watching him fight is frustrating. But as far as like a personality go, I've always liked this personality and I've liked him a lot. But anyways, I'm here to give a prediction and um, you know, I haven't really went back and forth so I don't really like Jake Paul that much. I do like watching him box, I think he's a better boxer than people give him credit for. But I still don't think he's a professional boxer, I still think he's an amateur boxer. But with that being said, he's not bad and, it, and if you're judging off boxing metrics, there's no other conclusion you could come to then. He's not bad because he hasn't been touched basically. I know the level of competition and whatnot and the dumb shit people say. And um, you know, he's three he's had four fights, dude. Honestly, he's probably his competition is probably up to par with everybody else's. It's just so ho high profile. People expect him to be fighting for a world title, and then they're like, you know, why are you fighting a guy who's never fought before if you know yeah, this is so popular, and you're such a good boxer, then why are you fighting an MMA guy? It uh, it doesn't make sense on both sides, because it's like, you know, nobody's fighting the best guy in the world in boxing when they're 4-0, or period, I guess. They're usually just fighting tomato cans and scrubs and people who are professional when they shouldn't be labeled as such. Uh, but basically, I've always thought that Jake Paul is going to win this fight. I don't know how Tyron Lee is going to look. But he's never, I don't give a fuck what anybody says. He's never been some absolutely immaculate striker. He's not no Israel Adesanya that's going to keep you at range and fucking blitz in and out like a Robert Whitaker and just jab your face off or like a Max Holloway or something like that. Never been. He's got a good overhand right that he relies too much on. And um, it's done him well, I guess, because, you know, he is a very good fighter. So pair that up with everything else. He's got a good wrestling pedigree. He's a black belt in jiu-jitsu and all this other shit. You seen him hit a mean Dars choke on um, Darren Till. You know, he's a good fighter, but he's not some elite boxer. So not only was he not an elite boxer in his prime when he was 35, but he's not. He's 39 on the downside of his career. So maybe he's better at boxing because he's focused more on that. But it doesn't seem like he's focused on wrestling recently like that's what's gassed him out and um, has played a huge factor is people that wrestle fucking Gilbert Burns who is an incredible jiu-jitsu guy people roast jiu-jitsu guys for not having good takedowns destroyed uh, Tyron Woodley in wrestling now I think Gilbert Burns is an excellent wrestler since watching his fight against Wonderboy he has a very good single leg uh, but that's besides the point so has he always been I've always think that He's focused more on striking throughout the end of his MMA career. And his striking was still not something to uh, to be amazed at, to be completely honest. And um, that's in an MMA, so, you know, maybe it's hard to tell, it's hard to gauge, you know. There's not really a fair measuring stick. But I've always just went to Jake Paul because Jake Paul is an actual boxer. People can say whatever they want, whether he's a professional boxer or amateur boxer. But he's still a boxer. Those are both boxers. And he's boxed more than Tyron Woodley. And he's been in the ring, uh, the actual ring a lot more than Tyron Woodley. So I just think he's going to win because he has more experience in boxing. And uh, started as a pure boxer. He doesn't have uh, concrete foundational mistakes 
like most MMA, MMA guys have whenever they move to boxing. They have to correct all their, their stance and their footwork and all this other shit. Um, and the clinch work is completely different, I presume. So, um, I don't know. I just predict that Jake Paul is going to win. Hopefully not by knockout. Because literally Tyron Woodley is one of my favorite MMA personalities, to be honest. But I'm, I'm going to say I'm going with Jake Paul to win. But I most certainly do not want him to win, right? Not that I hate him or anything. But, you know, he's not my favorite dude on the planet. So, I think Jake Paul is going to win. But Tyron Woodley, please fucking win for us. Do it for us.